I feel like this past couple of days I've been able to show some some things, and uh, you know, overall it's been a, a good couple of days for me. How well is your game suited to this kind of setting? Uh, I think it's suited really well. Um, I feel like I'm a skilled skilled big, so uh, going through these drills, I feel like you know there's there's a lot of things I can show off. Uh, my shooting ability, ball handling, um, passing ability, all that stuff really shows in these drills. Would it be nice to be able to show the other parts of your game that maybe people have question marks about, the defensive side? Uh, yeah, we've been doing that too, actually. Um, we've played some one-on-one -on -one and two-on-two, -on -two, and I felt like you know I've held my own against these guys, You know, some of the best uh, college players in the country. Um, I feel like you know, I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them in, in a couple of drills and, and really done well. So my guys were out watching you work out in L.A., and um, the sound didn't come off great, so they asked me to just ask some of those questions over again. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what are some of the things that you've, uh, you're working on in your, in your workouts in L.A.? Um, I've been working with Don McLean, and uh, you know, we, we've worked a lot on, on mid-post, and, and uh, he calls it pinch post, like posting up at the elbow and, and just facing your guy up. And if you have the shot, take it. You know, if not, uh, give him a shot fake, one or two dribbles, um, and, and just keep it simple. Um, because he feels like, you know, with uh, my size and my length that, you know, I can get my shot off. And, and, you know, that's what we've been working on mostly, doing a lot of shooting stuff too. Uh, NBA 3 is getting used to that. And, uh, you know, I felt like I got really, you know, a lot better when I was out there. What were some of the biggest things you thought you improved on over your college career? Um, well, I mean, I, I came into Wisconsin weighing about 190. And uh, uh, by the end of it, I was... Uh, 225. So, you know, getting in the weight room with our strength coach, Scott Hettenbach, and, and uh, you know, working hard and putting uh, good lean muscle on, you know, that was huge for me. You know, it really expanded my game. Um, but also just working with the coaches on my skills and, and just fine tuning, uh, you know, the parts of my game and learning the game from Coach Ryan, um, how to play the right way, you know, all that just added up to, to making me a better player. Watching the NBA playoffs right now, are there any guys that you're seeing out there that you could say, you know, that's that's a role that I could play in the NBA? Um, I mean, I love I love Dirk's game, but you know, obviously he's he's uh, proven himself as maybe the best player in the game. But you know, I, I try to take some of the stuff he does and put it into my game. Um, but you know, right now, um, you know, there's you know there's guys that you know I could step in and, and see myself being like you know maybe like a Ryan Anderson. Um, from the Magic, you know, he, he rebounds really well, shoots the ball well. You know, I feel like I can do some of those same things. I think you said you said that uh, yesterday you were able to work out something with some professors in terms of getting things put off. Or how, what, what, how do you yeah, get that? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I talked to him, and instead of you know finishing up at the end of the semester, I got an incomplete. That's right. So then I could finish out this summer. And that's two of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any players that you've spoken with during the draft process, guys that have been through this that are kind of helping you, giving you advice? Uh, you're talking about guys that have already already done it? Um, yeah, I talked to, uh, I know Chris Humphreys a little bit, um, just Minnesota guy, and um, he's gave me some good advice just on, on the interviews and, and how to go about the draft process. Um, Mike McCullough, uh, another guy who I've, Worked out with the past couple summers. He coached for the Raptors, and you know he, he's kind of got a different perspective, a, a coach's perspective on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of guys help me out. Um, and it, it, David Lee talked to him when I was out in LA. Uh, Paul George, um, and everybody's got good insight. So I mean, I just try to take in as, as much information as possible. Where do you think you're gonna get picked when it's all said and done? <laughs> I don't know. That's still up in the air. It's you know, it depends on how you, how well you do in these workouts, how hard you compete. Um, and, and you, know, you got to go in there with something to prove. You know, hopefully work my way into the first round. Um, you know, first round or late first round, early second. You know, is, is kind of where I feel like I'm at right now. But you know, I'd like to be be in that first round range. How important is it for you to get drafted really high? Um, you know, it, it's important, but uh, at the same time, you just want to find the the right fit. I think is more important, and and going to a team where you know there's there's a, a need for you where you can step in and, and get some minutes right away. Um, you know, obviously you're not, or for me, you know, I might not be starting right away, but you know, that's the same same thing I had to do in Wisconsin. You know, come in, earn earn minutes, prove that you can play um, at that level, and from there, you know, just keep working hard to get better.